Fortunately, they've all got circuits in them. So I did label some, I'm not sure with what. Boiler, 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 uh, basement sockets, don't know that one, washing machine, lights, don't know that one, don't know that one. So I think I'll start with this end and we'll have a look and see what this 2.5mm circuit here is. I've just managed to get them all, so they've all pushed in, all these breakers. Um, a couple of them, two or three of them, took a lot of pushes before they'd stay in. So I don't know what that's about. Alright, that's going to be live. That's going to be dead, so I've just got to be really careful before I stick my screwdriver. Alright, so this conductor will gently maneuver our way around to see which twin and earth it comes out of, if indeed it comes out of any, which it might not. Yes, yeah, bingo. I think it is a bingo. It's a bingo. So it's this one. So that doesn't really help us a huge amount. Neutral is confirmed, so we'll light it up again. Hmm. Okay, we need it on level three. Into this. It goes into a conduit. It goes into a conduit. Yeah. And then up. Here, which is, I think, by the front door. Wave around, and this is what I came up with. Yeah, it's just that one socket peculiar. Where's our one? There she is. Okay, now I'll go upstairs. Seems to be one on this circuit. What am I doing? There we go. Point two four. And that's not zero, so that's point one four, isn't it? Earth and line. Five hundred volts. Nine nine nine. Earth and neutral. Nine nine nine. Two live conductors. Nine nine nine. Point one nine. So if that's 0 0.19, 0 0.14, that's, uh, do need to find the ZE, I don't know if I found the ZE at that board. So here's the second one I'm doing. I'm going to take it that the first one's in the right container, so I'm going to take it that the second one is as well. So I'm going to undo this. Number two, both screws, the bottom one isn't tight anyway. And that's my second circuit. I'll stick the signal generator on that. Here we are, the signal generator. And where's my probe gone? There we are. Start the probe up, fire the probe up. There we go. Comes along here, goes up here, and that only goes into that emergency light there. So, um, well, what the hell? I've done it. And that's the result of line to CPC. 362. This one goes to the old fire alarm. So that's where that one goes. I'm pretty sure I did the socket radial, um, the basement socket radial, in one of my first trips down here. So I'm just going to go around and check because they said it's not working. So. working. They couldn't be pushed back in so they're all working and I've got the figures for them. I've got the boiler and the last thing is the light. So where are the light the two going into it? Okay all I want to do is see which one of these might possibly be on the same circuit. So there's 24.9 ohms there and hopefully nothing on this. 
Yeah. So we've identified those two, and then these two, 1.36 kilo ohms. Let's go and see if we can find another light switch. Well, I'm going to hazard a guess that these uh, conductors are another emergency light charging system um, with that type of kilo ohm resistance between them, the battery charging thing. And the only uh, indication I'm getting from the light switch, which we've taken apart and is very complex, um, are from these two conductors. So turn that off and I will and do a global test of that circuit from here um, just on the insulation resistance. I can't get an R1, R2 because there's no neutrals um, unless I start dismantling lights, which I'm not going to do. But I will just show you the, um, the light switch because now it's not to say that all these things can't be worked out. They can. Um, uh, we've got the three gang switch here, so it, it looks more complicated than it actually is. Um, we'd start by finding the, um, the feed, which is very likely to be, uh, that's, a, that's a jumper, that's a jumper. So probably the feed is, is this one here. So we're hooked up to CPC and line. It's a very gentle pass. Three. Three point three, we'll call that, but that's not bad. That's the global result. And now between neutral and CPC. And we're looking for three point three, which we'll easily get. Three point four already. 3.5. I can just test between this and CPC. Um, I can do that even though um, we haven't identified the circuit. And that's fine. 999. And between the neutral and the CPC, of course it might not even be earthed. It might not even be an earthed circuit. Circuit 1 is this socket down here. Um, circuit 2 is basement sockets. Circuit 3 is the old fire alarm. Circuit 4 is the boiler. Circuit 5 is washing machine. Circuit 6 is uh, basement lights. Circuit 7 is uh, the emergency light in the basement uh, switch room. And this 2.5 is sockets at the top of the stairs on the ground floor. There is a non-compliance in that this uh, conduit lid is not removable by use of tool only, um, and it's you can just pull it off. So, and there's basic insulation underneath. So, uh, that's straightforward enough to remedy. So I've broken the back of it. I've just got the, the, the lift board. So, I don't know. Now, do you think useful to help you For some reason, they make this thing far too small. They are a nightmare. Good morning. And uh, we're down in the basement. Uh, with in the motor room, the lift motor room, and sure enough, I can't see a motor here. But um, there's a single phase board here which I need to test. We've already looked at the lift main isolator here, and um, yeah, so we're gonna, gonna test this single phase board. It's got six ways. Well, it's not number one actually, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, circuit number six. Um, car light, so yeah, that goes to the uh, lift light. So all I'm going to do there is a insulation resistance test on it. Signal generator. Um, so the car light, yeah, comes along here, it comes up here. So it's these two, the brown and blue here. I'm just going to do the fixed wiring up to this board. 
Um, there we go. I've disconnected those two, and I've joined them together at the other end against earth. Um, need to test now. Let's get the light on for you. There we go. That's what I'm calling the fixed wiring. Okay. This, I believe, is a 5 amp, 15 amp uh, socket, but I think it. I think it's going to be a socket in the lift shaft. This one goes uh, I have tested these. Okay, forget that one. Um, oh, this one is this socket. Okay, so that's 999 between line and earth. 15 amp. This is a uh, lift shaft light number one and that is 300 mega ohms between line and new, uh, earth and that goes to this switch here number one number two switch is this circuit here that's 999 mega ohms but it only comes back through to here and it's disconnected, so it's not connected to anything. So that's what that circuit is. Lift shaft, light, lift shaft light number two, which comes back here and doesn't light anything up. Uh, sorry, all correction gives same six, 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 six on this one. Six. I, d I haven't filmed the whole of it because it's all quite straightforward and dull, boring, but also, um, I've got to put my battery on charge for the camera. So what I'm going to do is I will clear up here, put everything back, put the covers back on, and I will um, reset up on the last board, which is upstairs on the first floor, um, and that will be the rest of today. Okay, we're upstairs now, and the new board for today is labelled 1 to 12. This is an unknown circuit, this is a spare circuit, this is a spare circuit. So we've got 9 to do. What I did before lunch while this battery was on charge and I was unloading the memory, because both things hold me up, is I've continuity tested between all these various conductors and come up with three circuits that that uh, um, have continuity and one uh, line here that doesn't have continuity with any of the neutrals with uh, having uh, turned on all the light switches around the bazaars so now I think the thing is to um, identify which lights each of these do and I'm going to do that just by energising the circuit briefly. I have stuffed Bravo in. I've stuffed Bravo in. Um, this light is on. This light is on. Bravo. Um, and maybe the hall lights. There's a hall light here. Um, with no switch. This hall light here. No. Let's try. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. That seems to be doing much that. The emergency light's gone out. Let's see if we turn this off. The emergency light comes on. Yes, it does. So it is on this circuit. So let's take Bravo neutral off. Goes off with that. Bravo neutral. Light is light on. And it's that one. Nothing on. Oh, and that one. Just one here that it doesn't energise. Okay. Energizes the first two switches. 
in here. That one and this one. This one isn't connected to anything, so this one must be light. Right, for Circuit Bravo, we, we are making a meal of this. Circuit Bravo between live conductors and earth, but it's tricky. It's tricky when you don't know what wires are doing. Oh, we've got 10.6 mega ohms. So, Circuit Bravo, with the CPC in the earth bar, uh, insulation test, live conductors to earth on Circuit Alpha, Sixteen point five mega ohm, and lastly, circuit Charlie. Circuit Charlie. Nine 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 on circuit Charlie. I'd love to find out what circuit Charlie does. I've been fiddling around here for quite a long time, and I've discovered that there's a shared neutral on question mark. The there's Alpha Bravo Charlie, uh, Alpha Bravo Charlie, and question mark in the third MCB. I've, I've labelled it question mark. And if I put question mark in, the light above me turns on, and the lights in this storeroom um, are energised. But I don't need to put question mark neutral from uh, the black, the black question mark in to get that to work. So there's. There's a shared neutral. All right, uh, for the bath pump now, 500 volts between conductors join because there's uh, uh, neon and CPC. And we've got 0.11, but we do have an RCD in line, so I'm going to take the neutral off because I've got suspicions with neutrals on RCDs. And we're going to do line to CPC. And on that one, we've got 999 ohm. Uh, 100 volt between a neutral and CPC are still struggling at 0.79 mega ohm. I, I, it's now five o'clock and I can't face doing, don't know why because they're all right, but I can't face doing rings now. So I'll leave them till tomorrow morning and I'll carry on with some radials. There's a big thick radial here, uh, which is the six mil number seven, dear the ZS. But I didn't do, yeah, I didn't do the insulation resistance. So we'll do that. The shower sockets, store sockets. That's quite easy. Saloon and store sockets, whatever saloon is. Right. I normally do believe this. I've got the signal generator on, and as in the other day, it's already losing its its mojo on the nine volt battery. It comes down here. It's down here, it goes into the floor, I think it goes that way as well. 84, but it's going to here, so it's not that. It does seem to be here, doesn't it? But we already knew what this was. Alright, let's go and try that out. Okay, so this does go under the floor where we thought. I don't know why it goes out this way as well, I can't find what it does. Um, all strapped up, ready for 